Atrial fibrillation is like having a disorganized storm in the heart's electrical system. Instead of the usual orderly heartbeat, the heart flutters or quivers irregularly and often rapidly. This can lead to a range of symptoms from feeling like your heart is racing or fluttering to chest pain or fatigue. But beyond the immediate symptoms, AFib significantly raises the risk of stroke and can lead to other heart-related issues. Understanding the root causes of this condition and how it affects the heart's normal rhythm sheds light on why it's so important to manage or prevent AFib. Let's dig into some of the common causes of AFib. AFib doesn't just have one cause. It's the result of various factors that disturb the heart's normal electrical activity. Let's dive deeper into the main culprits of AFib. First, here are some common heart or circulation related causes of AFib. Number one, high blood pressure. A leading factor in the cause of AFib is high blood pressure, which forces the heart to work harder. This extra strain can lead to changes in the heart structure, such as dilation of the left atrium, making it more prone to AFib. Number two, coronary artery disease and heart failure. These conditions compromise the heart's ability to pump blood efficiently, stressing the heart, and thus increasing scarring, fibrosis, and dilation of the heart chambers, and potentially leading to the chaotic electrical signals of AFib. Number three, valve disorders. Abnormal heart valve function disrupts blood flow, which can change pressure and volume in the heart, setting the stage for AFib. Valve disorders can commonly lead to dilation of the left atrium, particularly mitral valve disorders. Number four, cardiomyopathies. Diseases of the heart muscle itself alter the way the heart beats, leading to risks of increased scarring, fibrosis, and dilation of the heart chambers. Number five, diabetes is also associated with an increased risk of atrial fibrillation. The presence of diabetes can disrupt the normal electrical signals in the heart, increasing fibrosis in the heart, and leading to the development of atrial fibrillation. Managing diabetes effectively is crucial in reducing the chances of developing this heart condition. Next, let's discuss lifestyle factors and other conditions that can cause AFib number one. Obesity. Carrying extra weight puts a strain on the heart, increases inflammation and fibrosis, and is linked to changes in the heart's electrical system that favor AFib. Number two, alcohol and substance use. Excessive alcohol and the use of certain drugs can trigger AFib episodes by affecting the heart's electrical signals. This can be due to direct toxicity of severe alcohol on heart tissue, as well as chamber dilation with chronic alcohol use. Number three, sleep apnea. This condition causes repeated stops and starts in breathing during sleep, leading to sudden drops in oxygen levels and increased blood pressure, stressing the heart. Number four, thyroid disorders. Both an overactive and underactive thyroid gland can disrupt heart rhythm and lead to AFib. Number five, advanced age. Increasing age is also strongly linked to the development of atrial fibrillation due to age-related fibrosis. As individuals grow older, the heart's tissues may undergo structural changes, leading to fibrosis in the atria. This fibrosis can disrupt the normal electrical signals in the heart, contributing to the onset of AFib. But how do these causes disrupt the heart's normal electrical system? The heart's electrical system is finely tuned to maintain a regular rhythm. In AFib, this system is thrown into chaos. Here's how these causes mentioned impact the heart's electrical activity. Number one, structural changes. Conditions like high blood pressure and heart disease lead to changes in the heart structure, such as thickening of the heart muscle and enlargement of the heart's chambers. These changes can interfere with the heart's electrical signals, making them more erratic and prone to AFib. Number two, electrical remodeling. In response to stress or injury, the heart's electrical properties can change. For example, the refractory period, the time during which the heart muscle cannot be re-excited, may shorten, making it easier for abnormal electrical impulses to take hold and spread. Number three, trigger points. Areas in and around the heart, especially around the pulmonary veins, in the case of AFib, can become trigger points where abnormal electrical impulses start. These impulses can override the heart's normal rhythm and trigger episodes of AFib. Number four, autonomic nervous system. Imbalance. The autonomic nervous system, which controls the heart rate, can become unbalanced by various factors like sleep apnea or alcohol use, contributing to the onset of AFib. Number five, increased fibrosis or scarring. 
Worsening atrial fibrillation is closely associated with the progression of cardiac fibrosis, the excessive scarring of heart tissue. AFib creates abnormal electrical signals in the atria, leading to irregular heart rhythms and increased stress on the heart. This chronic condition triggers a cascade of molecular and cellular events that promote the production of collagen, the main component of fibrotic tissue. Over time, the accumulation of fibrosis can impair the heart's normal electrical system and contribute to the development of worsening atrial fibrillation. Next, let's discuss how this electrical storm causes AFib symptoms. Imagine the heart's normal rhythm as a well-organized parade with each section, the atria and ventricles, keeping time perfectly. In AFib, this parade turns into a chaotic crowd with different groups moving out of sync. This disarray is caused by rapid and disorganized electrical signals in the atria, leading them to quiver instead of contracting in a coordinated manner. As a result, the ventricles also beat irregularly, disrupting the heart's ability to pump blood efficiently. Loss of atrial kick. Normally, the atria contract to finish filling the ventricles with blood, a process known as the atrial kick. In AFib, this coordinated contraction is lost, which can reduce the heart's efficiency and lead to symptoms like fatigue and shortness of breath. Risk of clot formation. The chaotic movement in the atria makes it easier for blood to pool and form clots, particularly in a part of the heart called the left atrial appendage. If a clot breaks loose, it can travel to the brain and cause a stroke. Variable heart rate. The irregular signals from atrial fibrillation lead to an irregularly irregular pulse, which can be too fast, too slow, or vary between extremes, affecting overall heart function and symptoms. How can you combat the electrical storm of AFib? The fight against AFib involves addressing the root causes to manage the electrical disarray of AFib. Strategies include lifestyle changes like weight loss, moderating alcohol intake, and treating conditions like high blood pressure and sleep apnea are essential in the long-term treatment of AFib. In addition, medications, procedures like cardioversion or ablation, and devices like pacemakers can also help restore or maintain a normal heart rhythm and prevent stroke. Understanding the interplay between the causes of AFib and their impact on the heart's electrical system highlights the importance of a comprehensive approach to prevention and management. By tackling the root causes and the electrical disturbances, it's possible to improve quality of life and reduce the risk of serious complications associated with AFib. Lastly, the Take Control Over AFib program offers a comprehensive and step-by-step -step plan for individuals looking to make positive lifestyle modifications to address the root causes of AFib and improve symptoms with fewer medications. By following this program, individuals can regain control over their health and well-being, leading to a better quality of life. With a focus on addressing the underlying factors contributing to AFib, this program empowers individuals to take charge of their condition and make lasting changes that can positively impact their overall health. Learn more about the Take Control Over AFib program with the link underneath this video. Until next time, I wish you the best with your AFib treatments.